what's up, what's up? Quick video blog for you guys. I got about 10 minutes to do so. I just put the pre-workout in, don't want it to go to waste, and so I gotta head down the road, uh, head out to the gym. So I'm gonna make this real short and sweet. Got a great video topic for you guys. Comes in from Cassie and she's out in Washington. Cassie wants to know all about detoxes and cleanses. You know, they're two words that run synonymous. And so we're gonna touch base on the purpose of them, some of the benefits, and whether or not I utilize a cleanse from time to time. So let's jump into this. What is the purpose of a detox? The purpose, guys, is to detoxify our body of impurities and toxins, as well as giving our immune system a break. Now, there are several different types of cleanses, you know, different types of methods. One type is a juice type. That's probably the most popular, most familiar to a majority of people. They buy these juices, they say, Drink this for 7, 14, 21 days and your body's going to be detoxified. Boom, that's real cool. Second choice is a food option where you have X amount of meals or particular food items that you, you need to stick to and by doing so it's going to help detoxify your body. And then thirdly, there are the supplement types. So you just take a pill um, every couple hours or whatever it may be and it helps detoxify your body. Those are the three main types of a detox or a cleanse. Now. One thing that you either know or don't know, you know, you're conscious about it or not, is that our bodies are constantly being faced with air pollutants, pesticides on our fruits and vegetables, um, trans fats, chemically engineered foods and, you know, craps, ingredients, whatever it may be in our, our drinks and our food items, um, as well as high fructose corn syrup. So these things are constantly being thrown at us. And... You know, we may look at a, an apple and be like, you know, it's just an apple, but there's so much more to it because there's the pesticides coating the outside, there's the wax and all this crap that's put onto our foods these days. So our body is constantly having to battle that off and to work extra hard to, to filter that out and to keep it out of our body so it doesn't um, sit and become poisonous inside. So there are some benefits to taking a cleanse from time to time. And a lot of the benefits that are attached to cleanses are our claimed benefits and, and I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that um, in a second here but some of the claimed benefits are increased energy, uh, a reduce in fatigueness throughout the day, um, increased mental focus, a uh, improvement in overall physical ability and then of course weight loss and I say claimed benefits because you guys have to be very careful about the company and the brand or product that you use to detox your body because right now is a time where the industry is is you know there's so many blood suckers in this industry there's so many people out there trying to take advantage of you and your needs and your wants and desires okay you know there's the detox fad there's the gluten-free fad, and these companies and these individuals are going to take advantage of you while these topics are extremely hot. So you're going to have a lot of people and a lot of companies claiming that their detoxes are going to increase your energy, you're going to lose 10 pounds guaranteed, um, you're going to improve mental focus at work, and there's going to be a lot of claims that you got to take with a grain of salt and, and really do your research before buying because they are, I think there's a lot of holes in those claims, so be careful. Be very careful about that. Um, the reason why I laugh when I said weight loss is because, you know, whenever, whenever you're going from a, a natural, you know, most people that detox their bodies, there are individuals that are not on a really, really strict diet. You know, they may have a burger for lunch, they might have some pizza on Friday nights, um, they're, they're more of a, 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 a leisurely gym goer, you know, they're, they're, they're not, they're, this isn't their career, you know, it's, it's just a hobby. And so they, they, do, they stick to their, their daily and weekly nutritional plans or whatever it is, their habits, and then all of a sudden they want to lose weight because it's January 1st, and so they go on a detox. And of course, when they go from eating cheeseburgers and pizzas on a regular basis to drinking water, having these juices, of course they're going to lose weight. Of course. You should expect that. But don't think it's a miracle because it's not going to last forever. You're going to go, you know, after the 7, 14, or 21 days, whatever it is, your detox lasts, you're going to be going right back to your, your habits and you're going to gain that weight back. So 
don't buy into those type of claims, okay? You are going to lose weight, but it's going to be most likely water weight because the more water you drink, you're going to be flushing it out. You're not going to be holding on to it. You're going to be pissing it out, so you're going to be losing some water weight. And you're also going to be losing some, some of the impurities and toxins and not going to have that food weight because you're most likely on a juice diet. So take that with a grain of salt. Be very skeptical about the claims and benefits. But I, I say that not to discourage you from doing a detox, but to be very careful and critical of the claims that are out there. Um, let's see. Um, the, I, there's, a, there's a rule of thumb I like to use if you're not someone who wants to commit fully to a, a detox or if you don't think you need one. Like I personally, I don't detox. I don't do cleanses. Um, my, my schedule and my eating patterns are, are pretty aligned with, you know, I'll, I'll do a couple of months of my eating and then when a shoot comes, I'm, I'm essentially cleansing my body. The process that I do is essentially a cleanse, a natural cleanse when I'm flushing water, manipulating my water, manipulating my sodium, my vitamin C intake, the foods that I eat help detox my body. So I do it in a more natural way or a more um, patterned and do it on a more regular basis. So um, I personally don't do them. I, you know, I don't buy these products. Uh, uh, one of the reasons is y you can do a detox by your own, you know, by yourself. You don't have to go out and, and buy these prepackaged juices that have, you know, five carrots, six celery stalks, eight cloves of garlic, four tomatoes, and it tastes fantastic. And then they, they throw a $30 price tag on that bottle of juice. You know, I'm sure that juice works. I'm sure it tastes great. But you can make it yourself and you can do it for, you know, 80% of the cost. So do it yourself and it also helps ensure that there isn't added sugars and added additives to it that's going to help you or it's going to make you be um, hooked onto these juices so that you buy their product again. So be careful about that. Um, but the rule of thumb that I was going to suggest for some of you individuals that just, they're not... Some of you guys just need to kind of change your eating habits in general. You don't have to do a drastic cut. Um, there, there's an acronym you can use, and it's the it's the phrase "eat more" or "eat less crap, eat more food." Okay, "eat less crap." The acronym is "eat less carbonated drinks, refined sugars, artificial sweeteners, and less processed foods." and then eat more food, the acronym for food is going to be eat more fruits and vegetables, eat more organic lean, uh, lean proteins, eat more omega-3s and fatty acids, and then last but not least, drink more water. So eat less crap, carbonated drinks, refined sugar, artificial sweeteners, processed foods, start eating more food. Okay, fruits and vegetables, organic lean proteins, um, omega 3s and 6s as well as drinking more water so it's an acronym and a phrase that you can utilize on a daily basis to help ensure that you're at least on the right track you know you're not sticking to cheeseburger and fries for lunch or the chicken alfredo at nighttime um, you have this this um, very generic phrase that will help keep you in the right direction and um, save some money in your pocket as well so um, hope that helps Cassie I appreciate the message um, actually, you know what? One last thing. I had looked up. I had looked up some foods that we can um, eat to help cleanse particular body parts. I, I pull it up on my phone here. Uh, I'll just list a few of these foods. There's a lot of foods, and, and to my surprise, um, there's a lot of benefits to them. So, um, as we know, so if we want to detoxify our blood. Okay, if we want to flush out the impurities in our blood and clean it up a little bit, we can eat things such as garlic, beans, tofu, leafy greens, ginger root, broccoli. Um, and broccoli is a, is a food item that you're going to hear several times in here. If you want to cleanse your liver, you can eat broccoli, Brussels sprouts, leafy greens, avocados, citrus fruits, green tea, artichokes, cabbage, and flaxseed oil. If you want to flush out and detoxify your pancreas, Eat broccoli, garlic, tofu, sweet potatoes, blueberries, uh, more leafy greens, tomatoes, grapes, and cherries. If you want to detoxify your kidneys, eat cauliflower, 
bell peppers, onions, cranberries, olive oil, fish oils, and cabbage. Um, if you want to flush out your intestines, utilize yogurt, oatmeal, leafy greens, probiotics, beans, fruits, veggies, grains, flax seeds. I mean, the list goes on and on, guys. There's so many great foods that pack so many benefits. Um, just to wrap it up here, if you want to flush out your gallbladder, you can um, eat lemons, beets, sweet potatoes, leafy greens, apples, cucumbers, and last but not least, if you want to detoxify your lymph, um, eat carrots, leafy greens, strawberries, tomatoes, asparagus, fish, and beef. So um, I know that was a lot, but that's a good thing. There's a lot of great options for us to help detoxify our body. We don't have to go buy supplements. We don't have to buy the $100 packaged um, bottles of, of juices that is going to help detoxify us and do the fiber cleanse and all this stuff. There's a lot of benefits in all these food items that I listed. And as you can tell, there's some that are universal. So broccoli, it helped with several things. Well, the broccoli helped with blood, liver, pancreas, um, your lymph, gallbladder, you know, a lot of benefits in broccoli. Um, garlic was another big one. The leafy greens were, was another big one. Um, sweet potatoes. So a lot of benefits in these foods. So go around the grocery store. Pick up some of these items. You know, Stick to them for a couple weeks or just stick to them all the time so you're constantly flushing out these toxins and they're never building up and never becoming sedative in your body and becoming poisonous. So it's just a constant, you know, there's, we can't do anything to, to necessarily escape some of the pollutants out there you know there's air pollutants we can't really escape that there's toxins everywhere there's pesticides there's all these things surrounding us um, we can we can at least reduce the amount that's affecting our bodies by eating a healthy diet and eating some of those food items so Cassie thanks so much for the message I gotta get going pre-workouts really starting to kick in getting the tingle so I'm out of here thanks for watching guys take care have a great day